Three amazing techniques uh, anticipated to evolve toward advanced bioscience and medical diagnosis. And free methods not using fluorescent labels are required particularly for live cells. As a label-free method, we have studied sensing using photon crystal PC nanoraser. This schematically shows a nanoraser composed of gallium ingenmatinide phosphide semiconductor strap with an array of air holes. It is operated by photo pumping. Since the laser cavity is exposed to air, the laser wavelength is shifted by the environmental index if some medium is attached. This shows a spectral shift uh, actually observed when the device is put into different index liquids. The wavelength rate shifts when the index increases. Therefore, the index change can be detected from the wavelength shift. The, the index resolution evaluated in this experiment was of the order of 10 to the minus fifth RIU. In this study, I will present the imaging of live cells on photo increased nano -resolary. We fabricated a two-dimensional array of nano -resolary. In fact, high-density integration of na <laughs> integration of nano -resolary is possible. Then we attach the cell on the device. Each nano acts as a sensor and image pixel. Live cell imaging is possible by measuring the wavelength shift of all nano -lasers. Therefore, this is a level-free method of cell imaging without fluorescent, using fluorescent labels. This is the outline of my talk. Uh, we, first, we demonstrate the large-scale integration of nano -lasers. To our knowledge, only a few nano -lasers have been integrated so far in other groups. Therefore, this is the first demonstration of large-scale array integration. We, we target larger area of nano -laser array than standard cell size, which is several tens of microns. Then we applied it to the experiment of cell imaging. We evaluated the acquired images through comparison with microscope images. In fabricating the large-scale integrated nano array, there was an issue that size of nano array was limited to 25 by 25 square microns due to the fragile average PC strap structure. In this study, the PC strap is bonded on a grass substrate with PDMS resin to strengthen the nano array. PDMS is a very standard polymer for bioscience. This is the process flow. First, we prepared the gallium ingenium arsenide phosphide quantum wire epitaxial wafer, which is commercially available. Then, uh, whole patterns of photon crystal are formed by EBM lithography and HIICP dry etching. The holes are buried by silica from the hydrolysis of the tails. The processed surface of the wafer is bonded on a grass substrate with PDMS resin. In this process, the silica in the holes inhibits PDMS to pass through the holes. Finally, in the phosphide substrate and silica are removed by HCL and HF wet etchings. This shows the optical micrograph of fabricated nano array. If you look carefully, you will recognize small dots corresponding to the nano cavities. We integrated an array of 21 by 21 nano resins in uh, 100 by 100 square microns area with a 5 micron pitch. This shows the new field pattern of laser emission uh, from total of 441 nano resins. It shows lasing of all devices. The emission intensity is not uniform, but still all of the intensities are sufficient for measuring the spectrum in our optical spectrum analyzer and tracking the wavelength. Although the non-uniformity of the bonding restricts the practical total size at present, 
in principle, there are no size limitations. <coughs> the pitch determines the resolution of image. It is limited to several microns. In principle, unless we change the emission wavelength to shorter than one micron, which requires further effort for developing nano lasers in other different material systems. In this study, we employed five microns, five microns pitch, <coughs> due to the ease of fabricate and measurement. This show, this shows the spectra of different wavelengths in three by three nano lasers pumped with 20 microns spot diameter. The wavelengths of each nano laser can be set differently by by uh, differently by uh, slightly changing the position and the size of photon crystal cavity holes. The throughput of the measurement uh, is constrained by the scale of the array, uh, the scanning uh, scanning time of the spectral analyzer, and the efficiency of the measurement wavelengths in the single spectral scan. In this method, when we when we measure the wavelengths of nano laser one by one, it takes 15 minutes for measuring the 441 nano lasers. If we measured uh, wavelengths of three by three nano lasers, the total time is shortened to two minutes. This shows the total spectra of a total 441 nanorays that each peak wavelength is automatically plotted. Okay, next I'm going to talk about cell imaging. This is an experimental setup. The sample is pumped by uh, 0.98 microns pulse laser light through such microscope and objective lens. The laser emission is, is detected through the same setup and observed by an infrared camera and measured by optical spectral analyzer. The XYZ position of microscope and optical spectral analyzer are controlled for the automatic measurement. The device is fixed on the slide glass and surrounded by these supports so that the measurement can be done in culture fluid. The measurement procedure is as follows. Hero cells are uh, cultured and attached on the nano laser. The wavelength of all nano laser is, we measure the measure the wavelength of all nano lasers. Um, measurement, finally, the cells are removed by tripsin, a reagent that hydrolyzes the protein of the membrane, cell membrane. <coughs> and reference wavelength is measured at the cream surface. The cell images are acquired from the mapping of wavelength shift. Let me show an example result. This shows the optical micrograph of here cells attached on the nano laser. You can see the attached cells here and here. This shows the mapping of wavelength shift. Uh, it shows clear red shift at the position of the cells. Thus, the cell image is successfully acquired. As I mentioned, the spatial resolution is five microns at, pre at present and not sufficient to observe the details. This shows a similar experimental results. Each sample shows the red patterns of attached cells, but <coughs> between these samples, cell images are slightly different. For example, this shows the larger red shift at the edge of the cell, while this shows the larger it's red shift at center. Each image is 
superimposed with uh, the borderline of the cell of micrograph. Uh, this image shows the same boundary uh, in both the optical micrograph and the redshift pattern. But this shows unclear pattern compared with the micrograph. These differences suggest non-uniform attachment and uh, some internal behaviors of the cells. In summary, we fabricated large-scale integrated nanolaser array. The PC slab was bonded on a glass substrate to strengthen the nanolaser array. We demonstrated 441 nanolasers in 100 square microns area. And we applied it to cell imaging. The cell images were successfully acquired without labels. The distribution of wavelength shifts suggests non-uniform attachment and or other internal behaviors of the cells, which are still under investigation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.